I did it again, guys. I picked something up from Chanel here in Vancouver, Canada. If you're interested in seeing what I picked up, keep on watching. Hi guys, it's Jan from Jandal in the City. If you're new to my channel or if you're returning, welcome or welcome back. Thank you for stopping by. If you like the content in my videos, please hit that subscribe button below, click that notification bell, and you'll know when I've uploaded new videos. So guys, before we get started, I wanted to share with you my bag of the day. And this is the bag that I am using. It is my monogram Louis Vuitton Neverfull. And wow, guys, can you ever fit a lot in this bag? Good for work, for shopping. Just love this bag, guys. So, guys, my scent of the day is my Mademoiselle Coco Chanel. I love this scent. Very soft. It's not overpowering. You can wear it in the day and then layer it up at night. Just love this one, guys. And my lip gloss today is also from Chanel. It's number 119, one of my favorites as well. My nail polish today is also from Chanel. It is number 193 in this gorgeous red. And like always, this is my top coat as well as my base coat, something from Sally Hansen. It's called Crystal Clear for number 800. I picked up at the dollar store for $1.25. I think my hair has a mind of its own. It's hopped on that train to crazy town and it's not coming back anytime soon. Are you guys finding you guys are having a problem as well with your hair? I have never had flyaways and dryness and everything else that's going on with my hair. So hopefully, you know, I can get that figured out really soon. So let's get on, guys, to the unboxing. So let's go ahead, guys, and we'll unbox this item. I've noticed that their flowers are a little stiffer. They're not really flimsy. Have you guys noticed that as well? Okay, guys. And this item here, I just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about it. So guys, I know that when you're purchasing Chanel that it is an investment and the items can be pricey depending on what you're purchasing. You can purchase anywhere from their beauty items, which are very affordable, all the way up to their scarves and twillies such as this one that I'm wearing. And the twillies in Canada go for about $3.10 and up. And your other pieces such as your small leather goods, the... Uh, card holders are going for about $5.40 starting here in Canada and working your way up. So I did pick up these. I was lucky enough to get it. Every time I try to get it, it is always sold out. So I was lucky. I just happened to go downtown and they happened to have it. So I did take it. And with this particular item... It can be worn casually and also dressed up. Let's go ahead, guys, and unbox it. There is the receipt. Put it down. I'll take the lid off. And here is the care booklet. So you guys have probably guessed it is another pair of shoes. It did come with the two dust bags right there so guys do you know what shoes i have purchased next let's go ahead are you ready here they are guys and i picked up these gorgeous chanel slingbacks so let me tell you a little bit about the history of these slingbacks if you are not familiar with it let me take one out of the box this article was first introduced in chanel magazine in france 
and it is called The Story Behind the Legend of the Two-Tone Shoe. In this photo, you can see she is clearly wearing the two-tone shoe in 1937, almost 20 years before their official launch. The famous shoes had already appeared on Coco Chanel's feet. It's her signature black and white silhouette. This photo was taken of Gabrielle Chanel and Serge Lafar, L-I-F-A-R, if I'm mispronouncing it, in 1937. All photos are courtesy of Chanel Vogue magazine in France of August 2022. You can go on the internet and research all about um, the shoe. And it's going on talking about how she paid special attention to designing the shoe, beige to elongate the shape, and the black to shorten the foot and protect the toe from long-term wear. Go on and read the article, Vogue France, August 20th, 22, and Google it. This photo is also courtesy of Chanel. It was taken with the Chanel models in 1964. She decided to come up with the two-tone because the front toe cap, it makes your foot look smaller in length as well as the tan makes your foot look longer. This one is in the size 35 and a half. This one is very, very hard to get in a small size. It is always sold out. It does come with a chunky heel and the gold cc's there on it i love the sole i love the style of it guys and everybody is saying that these are for older ladies mature ladies i don't think so i think these are a very classic shoe can be dressed up dressed down warm with jeans warm with shorts cut off shorts dress shorts even a shortened jacket they are very comfortable. I love the design on this one. I like the style. This is classic chic to me. It is just a gorgeous shoe all around. I like how this is on the front. It does not show all of your little toes, how they're all spread. I really love the detail on these guys. And with the elastic here for comfort when you're wearing, it will move with your foot. Just a gorgeous shoe, guys. Here's some of the other colors out for spring and summer. These ones are fabric. This one here is laminated uh, leather on the heel in gold and black. And it is also fabric. The next one is white fabric with the laminated gold leather on the heel and the toe. And then some nude dark denims, which are quite nice as well. And some white tweed. There is a little bit of pink in that. And also the new light denim, which is in the boutique. And also your classic lambskin with the dark fabric toe. The new colors are this pink with mesh and suede, also available in the yellow with the mesh and suede, which are all sold out, and also in the new denim with the multi Chanel written all over it. This green one was stunning. There was nothing in my size left, and also this navy, this bright pink two-tone, and also the tweed. Thanks for watching, guys.